Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're reviewing this really cool, I mean, I'm excited about this. Drone from ATOP. This is a W10, and this is just an old school throwback drone in my opinion. It's sort of in the SEMA X5C type style, though it's smaller than one of those. And it's just ought to be a whole lot of fun to fly. It reminds me of the drones that many of us, who, when we were just getting into the hobby five, six years ago, we were flying these little Wi-Fi flyers like this. It has altitude hold, but that's pretty much it. Uh, it doesn't have anything real special. There's no GPS or optical flow or nothing like that. Though the one main difference is it does have, even though it's a little pinhole camera, it's a 1080p camera on here. So you do have to man manually tilt that with your finger. I have it set the level here. If you aim it down you, as you're flying, you're gonna be filming the ground the whole time. And you can see it's a really big Wi-Fi antenna on the back of this guy. Now, if you want to see the table review for this, I've already got that filmed before this test flight, and that'll be at the end of this video. So if you want to stick around and see what all comes with this, closer examination of the drone and the controls and all that, and stick around to the end of this video for that. So let's go ahead and get this drone up in the air, and we'll fly it around. It's just going to save over Wi-Fi, so we connect to the Wi-Fi. The video saves over the Wi-Fi. There's no SD card or anything on this little drone, but I think this is going to be fantastic to fly around. So first thing we're going to do is we're gonna power it up. Now it has this a 1S LiPo in here, 500 milliamp hour. Again, you'll see all that in the table review and it are, there's two of those batteries. So you press the power button on the front of the drone and you'll see it's red on the power button and you have green and blue lights, green in the front, blue in the rear. Let's set it on the helipad here. And then you just power up the controller by long pressing and it will beep and the drone lights will go solid. You don't have to do the up-down binding sequence like you would have to do on most of the drones. Uh, this one automatically binds. And the lights, I can see them shining off the helipad. Now, uh, to do a gyro calibration, it will do one when you start it up, but if you need to redo it, um, it's always a good idea to do one anyway at the beginning, even though the drone should do one at power-up. That's both sticks down and in. It beeps, and now we can see the lights flashing, and it takes it a moment. Now, another thing this drone has is it has a throw and fly feature where you actually, you throw this drone, it's supposed to fire up the props and start going. And we're gonna test that here first so I don't forget to test it. Just make sure that when you do that, that you do it after you've done the, it's gone through the binding and the lights have gone solid or if you've done a gyro calibration first, which they recommend that you do one of those before you do the throwing up in the air since it's using a gyro to detect the motion. Just make sure the lights are solid before you do that. Now, we're going to connect to the Wi-Fi so that we can record the 1080p video to the app. So the first thing you want to do is go into your settings on your phone, into your Wi-Fi, and you're going to look for that W10. And I can see it here in my Wi-Fi list. And I'm going to go ahead and connect to that. And once you've done that and you're connected, then you're going to go in and let's make sure that we are connected to it and it says we are and we're going to go in to the atop go app and i'll put a screenshot up here so that you know uh, what it looks like from the play store and then you want to go through here and find the w10 which i had already done earlier unfortunately this is just in chinese but you're going to press this and it'll come up and we have a wi-fi feed going so what we're going to do now is we should be ready to fly is just a long press on this rear bumper will start recording video short plus press does a photo you can also do it from within the app but we'll do it from the controller so a long press and now our red is uh, it's gone red here and we got a timer it's not hard to see and it's recording video so let's go ahead and try that throw to fly feature let's just throw it and see if it if it starts the motors and it did that worked great. Just only thing about you now is you have to get your orientation and your bearings because you're throwing it in the air. Yeah, this flies super. Just what I expected it would do. Now we're in the lowest rate. Now there's a very light breeze. The drone may drift a little, so it could use some trimming. But usually these drones are pretty stable um, once you get the gyro calibrated. So there's a bit of a breeze it's drifting with. So uh, left pressing on the left stick. We'll get us in our rates so here is that should be the lowest rate let's just see that nice slow y'all i'm gonna press in and we get two beeps it's sportier let's see if we have a third rate 
we do. And the yaw is definitely quicker. So the yaw does increase with the rates. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any, there's no, I don't see any kind of lag in the controls or anything that sometimes you get connected to the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, which this uses, this isn't a 5G Wi-Fi, you know, you know 802.11ac. You see those on a lot of the drones now, the 5G, but you don't always see, on, the, on a budget drone like this, this, you usually don't. It probably could use some trimming, but I just want to get this review done, so I'm not super worried about that. And let's try some uh, 360 flips. So that's going to be pressing on the right stick. Now let's see it. It's set in the instruction. Let's try and see if you have to hold it or something. Huh. Well, I don't know. Let's try that again. Huh. Hmm. He might be in headless mode there. Let's... Let's see what's up with that. I don't know. I know that the right, I'm pretty sure the right segment, let's try the, I think the left stick it said was a long press. That's trimming mode. Yeah. I don't want to mess up the trim. So I don't know. I thought we'd get some 360 flips there, but I'll try it some more. Hopefully we'll figure it out. Let's see what rate we're in again. We want to be in the highest rate. That's why I like to fly in. The camera looks pretty decent on this. Now, it's not a real high frame rate because we're doing it over Wi-Fi. So it's going to be really choppy. But I thought it looked like it was decent quality. And I don't, I don't see a whole ton of jello wobble. There's probably going to be some. But that's a sign of a stable quad and well balanced when you don't get tons of jello wobble. That was something that was very common on the drones five, six years ago. You'd just be a jello fest, I called it. And I don't think that we're seeing that here in this video. I don't know what's up with that. Let's go ahead and do an auto landing and then we'll uh, try that uh, the flip. I can't imagine it would be disabled because of. Um, I'm recording video. Let's do an auto landing. It's coming down. And then we'll try to go ahead and take off. And there we go. All right, both sticks down and out. And just give it throttle. You can actually do auto takeoff. Let's just see if we can get this, figure out why it's not flipping. I don't know. I can see some lights flashing. I'll have to confirm in the control in the controls, but I'm I'm 99% certain that the right stick was for doing 3D flips. The left was your rates, and then the left was also to enter into trimming mode, and the right was to do your flips. But I am not seeing. I I can't get it to do it. Let's, and if you try to hold it down and just. No, I, I can't get it to do it. I don't know, guys. I mean, it could be just user error on my end. If so, I apologize, and I don't have the manual with me. I will look the manual over when I get inside and just confirm. And if there's something I'm doing wrong, I'll put some text here on the screen let you know what, it, what, what you need to do. I did read the manual, and I try to be as thorough as I can, but... You know, when you review as many drones as I do, there's times it's just, you usually have a pretty good idea, but you always want to make sure you read the instruction manual um, just to make sure there isn't something goofy. But for some reason, I'm just not seeing, I can't get it to do flips. And actually, this top button is headless mode. So I was saying enter into headless mode, but that's, that's headless mode right there on the top. So I believe the only function on the right stick was to do 360 flips, and it says that. Yeah, see, it's doing that beep, beep, beep like it's in flip mode. Let's. And then it stops like it's good. So it's, it's doing that. It's doing that beep, beep, beep. And then usually you give input and it stops beeping. It does a flip. I, I, I just can't get it to do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying left and right because not every drone likes to go forward and back. 
Nothing. See, you can hear it beeping. It's saying flip, and it doesn't work. So unless there's something I'm doing wrong, I'll let Atop know that I just have no I have no luck. It beeps like it's gonna flip, but it doesn't. All right, are we in a low battery? I mean, it looks like we are. That's gonna, now when you reach low battery on all these drones, they'll disable the ability to flip. But we were trying to do it early on, so it doesn't appear to be a battery issue. So we got some we got some footage saved. There's no reason to start recording again since we're on low battery. This fly is great. And it seems like a decent flight time. It's probably not going to be maybe quite as long as I hope, but we'll have to see. It still flies. I mean, this is a super sporty. I wonder if I could take it up. You know, it's, it's not letting me go up much higher. It could be sort of is wanting to land maybe. I wanted to take a photo, but it's going to land itself, I think. I thought we'd see a photo. A photo is just going to be basically a screenshot of the video so if you just pause the video it's going to look the same as a photo so it's not like it's going to be uh, something big that we're overlooking so all right guys we got some beeping oh is it still going to be but so i thought maybe it'd stop that's the low battery beep but overall i mean this is flies great i mean it's a super smooth just really really nice flyer and the video looked to me to be pretty darn decent um for what it is it's just not gonna have a good frame rate it's gonna be choppy playback but that's to be expected um overall i'm pretty darn happy with this guy and the throw and fly worked great uh you may see that's kind of gimmicky but i kind of like it so my only real complaint is unless i'm doing something wrong is i cannot get it to do 360 flips it just beep 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 and does nothing so i'll check the instructions over and I'll put obviously you saw some notes there whether or not I did something wrong or if it's just something that the drone is not doing right but you know 360 flips are harder than brushed motors it's sort of gimmicky I mean it to me it's not a big deal I wouldn't probably pass up this drone because it didn't do flips for someone um, because of the way it, it flies really good as long as you can get it for a good price this is selling for around $80 you know i mean that's a little pricey for this little drone in my opinion i'd rather see it more like 50. but if you can get it with a coupon or the or something like that it wouldn't be too bad all right guys this beeping on the controller is getting to be super annoying so what i do now is i'll move along now to the flight review before this video gets wrapped up so i'll be right back with hey guys welcome back to the channel pretty excited about this little drone i got to review today um, you probably think, well, why would you be so excited about this? Well, I'm excited about it because it really reminds me of the drones that we started flying when we first got in the hobby like five, six years ago. We're talking about the 2016, 2015. You just had these little FPV Wi-Fi flyers that looked sort of like the SEMA X5C, which is what this drone looks like. This is the ATOP W10. And it just looks like it's going to be one of those little fun flying drones. It, I just I really look forward to flying this one just for the fun flying factor of it. They have some of the stuff listed here on the side. If we can get it into the camera. It has altitude hold, so nothing too fancy. Altitude hold wasn't necessarily common when these drones first came out. It was like one of the very first features they added to these drones. The original ones were just fully manual and with stabilization. Auto takeoff and landing, headless mode, replaceable battery, which is nice. It's not built in, but that's rather uncommon to have when it does that. 2.4 gigahertz control. The Wi-Fi, I'm sure, is going to also be 2.4 gigahertz. And you can record the photos and videos from that camera. So let's take a closer look at that, and we'll look at all the accessories and what comes with it, and then we'll get it outside for the test flight. We'll try to make this as brief as possible. This is very lightweight. I don't need to weigh this to know this is under 250 grams, so you have no problems flying this drone without having any worries about FAA registration or anything like that. You do have to put the landing gear onto it here. Otherwise, you'd be sitting on, to, uh, the, on the can land on the camera. So you just snap that into place. That comes in the bag over here. And you've got your LED lights on the bottom. I'll show you those in just a moment. Here is your little Wi-Fi module and Wi-Fi camera. It's a little manually tiltable camera. You can tilt this even up some, or you can go down. Let's see how far you can go down with it. Doesn't look like you can go down really very far unless it's stuck. I can go down a little ways like that. So I'm going to put it straight 
level because as the drone pitches forward, you're going to be filming the ground the entire time if you have the camera down. In fact, you might even want to go up with it some, though when you're not flying forward, you'll be obviously getting the props or probably the landing gear in the shot. Your power button here is on the front. Your battery is in the back, and they do give you two batteries here. Um, this is, I believe it was a 500 milliamp hour. It's hard to see in there. 1S LiPo. This is your button to, to uh, help pull, you know, eject the uh, battery. It pushes down this little tab, and you can pull it out. And what I really like is it uses a red JST plug for charging it. I'll show you that charger in just a moment. But if you have a red JST like I do with one of your hobby grade chargers, you can just use that. And that's what I did. You're going to get a faster charge and, and, a, and a bit more accurate charge than what comes with it. But the one provided should be just fine. So let's go ahead and pop that back in there. Let's go ahead and just power it up so you guys can see the lights on the bottom. They're probably going to flash because we're not bound to the controller. So you got green in the rear and blue in the front. And those are actually, excuse me, blue in the rear, green in the front. I was looking at it the wrong way. So blue rear and green in the front. And that's nice to have green for go, green in the front, because you're going to need these lights to help you with orientation if you're a beginner. And But it, even though as bright as those look, they're still probably not going to be super easy to see during the middle of the day, especially located on the bottom of the arms, unless you're up over your head. But uh, at nighttime, these ought to look really, really nice. So blue in the rear and green in the front. I hate that whenever I say it the wrong way. I was looking at the drone the wrong direction. Of course, this is just brushed motor powered. So these are not brushless, but at this price and this size, you don't usually see that. The brushed motors sit off to the side, so they're geared through here. They're not direct driven off the top of the brush motor. So they're probably going to be a bit noisy. And then when you add gears, you're adding extra things turning and it adds to the noise. But I still feel like this is probably going to be a fun flyer. And you can see it has a really, really big Wi-Fi antenna on the back. That's got to be the largest Wi-Fi antenna I've ever seen. But I'm okay with that. That ought to help with the range. Now, I don't know if I'll do a range test with this, but it ought to help with just the whole overall Wi-Fi transmission, you would think on this drone so just really light and this, i just have a good feeling this is going to be a fun flyer um, as long as you don't have any kind of wi-fi lag or anything weird with the controls or anything like that so let's take a look at the bag of accessories you, they give you extra prop guards you have there's four for uh you know each motor and then it looks like they gave you two extra ones so i think you get six prop guards so if you would damage or lose one you get extras that's nice i they also give you two extra landing gears, so you're more likely a landing gear would pop off and you'd need to replace it. I've just never seen that. That's a nice little added touch because if you lose a landing gear and you crash and lose it in the yard or something, well, what are you going to do then? The whole drone's going to fall over. So I really like that they added an extra set of landing gear, more so than the prop guards. And here's your charger and accessories bag. As you can see here, it's a USB charger with the red JST plug. So that's really nice, you know, the, again, they use the red GST. And here's your extra battery, so you can double your flight time. You get a Phillips screwdriver for removing the props and doing any minor repairs. You have a full set of four extra props if you damage a prop. Because I don't fly with the prop guards. I wouldn't use those unless you're a beginner because they end up getting the, the drone caught up in the trees or something. And... Uh, so if you're flying without prop guards, you're more likely to scuff up or possibly damage a prop. So it's nice they give you extra ones. And what I really like is they give you double A batteries for the controller. That is extremely rare. Now, yeah, batteries aren't expensive, but it's nice that when you buy this, you don't have to even worry about it. You might buy it and go, oh, crud, I don't have any double A's. So you got to go into the store and get some. They got it included. And that's really nice. And again, that's something that you really only see from the Amazon sellers, little added perks. You don't usually see uh, batteries included when you order the stuff from overseas. So, but before we get to the uh, the to the controller, let's mention the the app. The app you're going to use on this one, I believe it was called the A Top Drone. Let's double check. It is A Top Go. So I'll put a screenshot of the app up here. It's on my phone, the A Top Go app, and that's what you're going to use. That will allow you to see once you connect your phone to the Wi-Fi, you got to do that first, then you open the app. So you go into your Wi-Fi settings, find the ATOP drone's Wi-Fi, connect to it, then you open the app, and you should get a, you know, it won't be very nice because this is a very small little camera, but you'll get a, a Wi-Fi camera feed in the app. 
again i don't know what this is i'm guessing it's probably 480p which is really really old school it might be 720 but it's a little pinhole camera so don't expect too much and then you'll, of course you'll be recording the video through the app to your phone so all of everything, everything you record in terms of photos and videos are just going to be saved on your phone there's no there's no sd card slot on this so it's not going to save to the drone so if your wi-fi breaks up and you go too far then that's going to cause the video to break up that you're saving as well so that's the downside of wi-fi fpv but at this price that's sort of what you have to expect you're not going to get a drone with sd card uh, built into the drone at this price point so that's why you got to use the app for that even if you're not going to use it to see where you're flying because i don't usually even look at that on these toys you still got to have it to record that video and here's the controller on this also since i mentioned this looks like a sema x5c though smaller this looks like a sema controller so it's inspired by sema's newer controllers your power button here your altitude hold your pitch roll y'all all that stuff and throttle on the sticks and then you've got some controls on the top and then these i don't think these dials work now and then you've got some buttons on the back so let me pull out the the manual just so that i don't tell you guys the wrong thing for these i was looking it over before i started the review but they do have your re remote control layout on here so i believe let's see here one of them lets you press it on the left stick i believe was to do your rates and then if you long press on that, it would take you into trimming mode if you need to trim up the drone. And if it drifts one way or another. And then you press the direction you want to trim and then you have to exit back out with a long press. I don't, I don't like that. I prefer to have the, the little buttons outside for that. And pressing on the right stick quick will enter you into 3D flips. And then you press the direction forward, right, left, whatever you want to do a flip. So let's see here on the top then we've got uh number five is going to be over here this is your auto takeoff and your auto landing and this should be your headless mode let's double check that correct headless mode is to where you don't have to worry about your orientation so it's good for a beginner i don't usually test that because it does not teach you how to fly a drone so I'm not a big fan of headless mode for that reason. Again, these dials look like something for a gimbal or something. They're fixed. They're probably used on other models. And then here in the rear, you've got, this is your photo video button. So that one is number nine. And it's going, it doesn't, let's see, does it say here? Make sure to open the app. Yeah, it wants you to have the app open. It's probably going to be a short press for photo, a long press for video, or it could be the opposite. The instruction manual doesn't actually say just says takes take photos and video so and it may it may be the opposite we'll see when we get we test it out it'll start it up in the app if you don't want to worry about it you can just press the record button or the photo button in the app and you know and they both are going to link to each other so you don't have to worry about using that and this should be your auto landing or uh, we have an auto land it should be a one key return because you have an auto landing and takeoff there so let me double check that should be eight and that is yeah one key return so don't be fooled one key return is not actually a fly back and land return to home like a gps drone this is going to fly back the opposite direction that the drone is facing at takeoff and just flies backwards so if you fly it back forward and then you go back behind you and you press it it's just going to keep flying away from you it's not going to fly back to you because it's behind you it's just going to fly in the opposite direction it's facing it take off so it's gimmicky i would not rely on the one key return at all but the auto landing and auto takeoff ought to be simple enough to calibrate the the uh the gyro so that it knows level which is important especially if you crash or out on your first flight you should always set that that's both sticks down and in and the light should flash both sticks down and out will unlock the props and then you can just give it throttle or press that auto takeoff button and it also mentions in here instruction manual that there is a um you can toss the launch so you can just i guess you you get it all powered up and you throw this drone the gyro is going to sense that movement and it should fire the props that move try to remember to test that 
in the flight re in the flight review. In fact, the flight review should be before this. So at this point, you'll know whether that works unless I forgot to test it. So I'm putting this video at the end, even though I started it out like a regular review out of habit. This should be at the end of the video. So yeah, you can throw this up in the air. I've had a few drones that have, over the years that, did, that have that feature, and I do like it. They tend to be smaller. This is probably the biggest one I had so, uh, that has the uh, toss to launch. And yeah, I mentioned the speed modes on the left stick, like I mentioned at the beginning. 360 flips using the right, and uh, the trimming on the left stick. And let's see, does it say here, short, yeah, short press uh, is photo and press and long press two seconds for video. So if you want to use the controller to start long press is what you're going to want to need to know for the video. Um, I think we covered everything. They mentioned here if you scan this QR code, you can get 24 hour online service supposedly and a VIP extended warranty. ATOP is a been around for quite a long they were around around when i first got in drones they might be the biggest brand but it seems like this w10 is sort of a throwback to those days and you have a phone clip holder that's what i was missing that's going to mount in the rear here of the uh controller and then it allows you to actually go this way actually and then you can clip your phone in there so you can see where you're flying and of course record that video to your phone all right, guys. Well, that wraps up the review. We saw the flight, which I haven't done yet, so I can't comment too much on that. This is just a table review, so I appreciate you guys sticking around to the very end of the video. If you're new to the channel, maybe uh, consider uh, subscribing. I really appreciate it. Click the bell while you're at it. That notifies you every time I do upload a new video. And as always, guys, have a wonderful day. The power of the dark side, 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 side.